Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Believe it or not, this is the fourth time I have filmed this video, so I'm really hoping that this goes smoothly. So here I am, hoping that this will work for Friday. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the makeup items I currently have in my collection. I'm gonna break it down category by category. We're gonna be comparing the numbers from last January in 2021 to this January in 2022, and I am so excited. So if you're new here, my name's Tiana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. Comment down below how many makeup items you think I have before I tell you, and let's just get right into it. So we're gonna start off with the biggest category. So last year I had seven lip products and this year I have 10. Now I feel like that's a fine number. It did jump, but that's okay because I did actually get a lot of lip products towards the end of 2021. So if that would make sense why I couldn't use them up. I think I ended up using about five lip products last year. So I have no problems this year with lip products and a lot of them are actually like chapsticks, lip balms, so I'm fine with that. I know that I'll be able to finish quite a few of them this year, so 10 of them is fine. It is a jump, but I feel like it's fine, and I don't really have any plans to buy any lip products anytime soon, so I feel like we're fine in that category. Here's a category that I'm doing really good in, highlighter. Last year I had four, this year I had one. I ended up finishing a liquid highlighter last year. I decluttered a couple and one of them went bad, so I'm currently left with one. It's one powdered one from Tarte and I do like it, I do enjoy it. I haven't had luck with liquid or cream highlighters, so I'm trying to stick with powder, but I don't feel like I need a ton of highlighters. I have one that works. I'm good for now. I don't think I'll be purchasing any more highlighters. If I do, I would only like to have one more. I don't want to exceed four, but right now I'm at one and that's all I need. So we are lower from last year. Last year I had three blushes and this year I actually have four, which is fine because all the blushes I have, I truly, truly love. I do really, really want to buy a orange blush. Not like orange, but like kind of that orangey type of blush. But I don't think I would pick that up until the summertime. So as of right now, I am trying to finish a Merit Cream Blush. I do have a Milk Makeup Cream Blush. So maybe this year I can focus on finishing the two cream blushes and then I can bring in a like orangey blush. I would love to get a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush because I love those formulas. But as of right now, I'm good, I'm set. I have a matte pink blush. I have like a shimmery pink blush. I have two cream blushes that are completely different like shades. So I'm set, I'm good, I don't need any more. Blush takes a long time to use up. So we're good for that category. For brow products, last year I had three and this year I have one and I don't need a ton of brow products. My brows are pretty much full as is. They're pretty well shaped. I get them threaded like once every two or three months because I try and maintain them myself. So I don't feel like I need a ton of brow products. Basically, I feel like I would just need like a pencil and maybe a brow gel, but I don't even feel like I need a brow gel because I feel like my eyebrows are pretty thick and coarse and I can maintain them, so I don't really need a brow gel, but I do like having a brow gel, so I don't wanna go over three. If I get another product, it'll be a brow gel, but brow products, they take me a long time to use because I don't use a lot of it and I just don't need many. Mascara. Last year I had one mascara. This year I have two mascaras. Mascara is a category where I only like to have one open at a time and sometimes I'll have a backup. Like with mascaras, I typically get the free like sample mascaras. I typically get them in like a kit. So sometimes I'll have a little bit more, but I only use mascaras for like three to six months. It really just depends the size and the formula. When a mascara starts to irritate my eyes, I get rid of it right away. So um, mascara, I only need one or two of. And throughout the year, I really only need to have like three or four MAC. I don't wanna have two mascaras open at a time. One mascara, then I finish it, then I can open up a new one. So two mascaras, I'm fine for a little bit. I started 2021 off with two concealers. I finished them in 2021. This year I'm currently working on one concealer. It is the Rare Beauty Concealer. I do enjoy it, I do like it. I do find it is more of like a natural, maybe medium coverage foundation. 
concealer. It is really nice. I love concealers. I really want to try the e.l.f. Camo concealer. I really do want to try the Too Faced concealer because concealer is something that I use a lot and I go through a lot and I love. And if I could just get one big concealer that's going to last me a long time, I think that would be great. So I'm going to see, obviously one is way more expensive than the other. Concealer is a category where I could have like five and I'm okay because I know I'm going to use them, but I don't want to exceed like two or three. So when I finish my Rare Beauty one, then I will look into getting a new concealer. So we're good with one right now. Foundation. Last year I had two foundations. This year I have two foundations. So it's the same number. I only like to have two foundations at a time, one for like spring and summer, and then one for like the fall and the winter. And I like doing that because then it gives me like a full, let's just say six months to use it. And then at least this way, it's not like they're sitting, they're going bad. I like to use up my foundations and then buy a new one. Currently, the Guerlain foundation is on my radar. So I may purchase it during the sale. I don't know yet. We're going to see. I have been holding off for a very long time, but it's like I'm just so close to purchasing it that I really want to purchase it. So I'm going to see. I may wait until the spring or the summer to purchase it. But for right now, I'm good. I don't need any more. I, I'm really trying to finish a foundation before I buy the Guerlain one. So that is what I'm trying to do. It may work. It may not work. I've been really wanting to buy it for years now. So I'm getting to that point where it's like, I'm just going to buy it. So really hoping to finish one of them or a few makeup products before I buy the foundation. So We'll see, but I have a feeling the next Sephora VIB sale, I'll be buying it. Okay, here's a category that went like really weird. So I had one bronzer last year. It was a Physi Physician's Formula bronzer and it was not my shade. It was not a finish I liked. I hated the packaging. The reason why I had it was because when I started makeup, I went to the drugstore. I literally just took it off the shelf, paid for it, went home. I didn't look at any other shades. I didn't look at the finish. I didn't look at anything and I hated it. So I got rid of it. And apparently in 2021, I ended up getting four bronzers. So going into 2022, I have four bronzers. I don't need any more bronzers because I don't use bronzers. I typically use bronzers as eyeshadow. I will use bronzer as bronzer, but I don't use bronzer. So I don't need to have a ton. Four is plenty. I don't need to bring any more into my collection unless it's like in a kit or I get it like as a free gift, but I don't need to buy anymore. I'm not buying anymore. I don't need anymore. So that's that's not for bronzers. I really don't want to see that category go up because I don't need it to go up. Okay, setting powder. I started 2021 off with two, started 2022 off with the same two, and I'm really trying hard to finish one, if not both, of those setting powders this year. Fingers crossed we can, or I can. It really showed me that I don't use a lot of powders, so I only need to have one, maybe two at a time, but I don't need to have that much powder because I'm still working on the same two. Eyeshadow palettes. Last year I had seven, this year I have six. I decluttered my big Jaclyn Hill palette. The shadows were just getting chalky, they weren't the same, there was no mirror, the palette was like big and I just didn't need it anymore. It had a lot of like repeating shades, so it was not for me. And I currently have six. I have my eye on the Wild Greens from Urban Decay. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick that up yet. I've been really wanting more green eyeshadows, so we're gonna see, but for right now, I'm fine with six. I feel like if I can keep it under 10, I'm good. I don't feel like I need to go out buying a ton of eyeshadows because I have a lot. And this year I wanna focus on using more of my eyeshadows rather than just buying a palette. So we'll see. I do really like the wild greens, but I'm gonna wait for more reviews to come out and see what I really think about it then. Primer, last year I had one, this year I have one. I finished my primer last year. This year I'm currently working on the Catrice primer. Not the biggest fan of it. I do want to go back to a Smashbox primer or I want to try the e.l.f. 
Petty Primer. So again, there is that price difference there, but I am gonna see I don't need more than one primer at a time. When I finish a primer, I can then go out and buy one. If I get like a sample or a mini primer from like a kit or free gift, typically I will use that and then I'll go back to my full size so that I'm using up my primers, but I don't need I don't need more than one. I will say that not all primers are the same. They do something different, but I just don't see a point in having more than one primer. Setting spray. Last year I had zero. I was able to finish all my setting sprays up, which is what I wanted. This year I have three. One of them is a NYX and it's a full size. And then I have two like small slash sample size Urban Decay ones. So I'm hoping to finish all of those this year and then just get like one or two for next year. But my goal is to finish all those. I love the Urban Decay setting spray, so I can't wait to finish my NYX to get to Urban Decay. Last year I had zero eyeliners. This year I have one eyeliner. I don't, here's the thing, I don't want to have a lot of eyeliners because I don't use them enough, but there's something in me that wants a black, a brown, and a purple and I don't know what it is. So I I don't want to have more than three. I feel like if I am gonna set a number, it's three. I don't need more than three. So right now I've got one, I'm set, I'm good. In my head, I feel like those were the three colors that I want, a purplish, a brown, and a black. So I don't know what it is. I don't want to exceed more than three because I don't wear eyeliner enough. Okay. The last category is single shadows. Last year I had zero, this year I had one. Well, I have one. I got it from my spa's open house in like a little goodie bag. So that was really fun. I have one. I don't think single shadows is something I'm gonna go out and like buy. So I don't really feel the need to set a number or anything because I haven't bought any before. So I have one, I'm good there. So in 2021, I started the year off with 33 items. I ended up finishing actually a lot from my project pan. And in 2022, I'm starting the year off with 39 items. So I only went up by six items, but I don't feel like that is too bad. I feel like a lot of them are close to being finished. A lot of them are easy for me to finish and I'm, really happy with that number. I really wanted to keep it under 45. So in six months, I wanna make sure that I'm still under 45 makeup items. So let's hope I can do that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guessed the number correctly or around the number. I feel like having 39 is good. It's not too much, it's not too little. It gives me a good variety while not having too much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing like an updated makeup inventory in about six months. And if you wanna see my whole makeup collection, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.